Thanks for joining me for another week of BlackburnNews.com's Beyond the Headlines. I'm Dave Rishi, News Web Editor for BlackburnNews.com. This week we're taking a look at the Ontario Music Fund. The provincial government recently announced $45 million to invest in the promotion, distribution, and performance of music across the province. Other than that, the details are still pretty scarce. But I've asked Ben Sorokas to join me to discuss what effect this could have on the music industry. Ben is the owner and operator of Spur of the Moment Media, which includes a record label. He's also vice chair of the board for Culture Factory, and he's a well-known Chatham-Kent musician performing with one of the be area's best-known bands, Square Root of Margaret. Thanks for joining me, Ben. Thanks. Thanks, Dave. So first of all, as someone who's been involved in so many aspects of music, uh, how financially difficult is it to, to put out music or organize an event? Um, it's very difficult for a band starting out. Uh, I would say that, you know, when you when it comes to having to record an album, when it comes to having to make physical media, which, you know, these days you could argue that most bands can get away with digital, but I would argue that you still have to have a mix of some physical media, some merchandise, as well as uh, the ability to travel and perform, uh, the ability to put on shows because as an unknown band you're not going to have a lot of people knocking at your door offering to put on a show for you. So the front load, the front load cost of being in a band uh, to get started is, is huge and, and uh, I think what ends up happening is a lot of bands uh, go on the cheap on their first release and they record the album very minimally um, and then are they really putting their best foot forward when they have constraints on their finances? Right. And, and so I guess, you know, like I mentioned, details are still, you know, rather limited. Yeah, yeah. But where would you like to see this money invested? Um, I, I would say that definitely the, the, the conception phase of an artist putting out an album. So the phase of them actually getting into a studio and having the time to properly record an album. Um, properly promote the album, so maybe a marketing budget, which I think a lot of musicians have do not look at marketing, they look at word of mouth, but we all know that marketing is very important. Um, then, the, then, as I say, the next stage of actually funding the production of their album to produce copies, to distribute it, and then finally helping them get that little bit of a kickstart to get them on, uh, on tour to play some shows. Uh, without those steps, um, it's very difficult to have a musical venture support you if you don't have those steps taken care of. What about something like Culture Factory? Do, do you think that uh, events like that should be able to cash in? Yeah, I think uh, Culture Factory's mission from the beginning has been to allow uh, diverse types of music, uh, up-and-coming bands to perform in Chatham, Kent and surrounding area and pair them up with uh, national touring acts to give them the opportunity and to give people the opportunity to see them in that light performing with a name that they might have seen or heard on the radio. And so, you know, our group would be looking at is there some way that we could utilize this fund in order to put on more performances in Chatham Kent. Now, um, the big question I have is uh, do you think this money will actually leave the, the GTA? Well, that's, I think that remains for us to see. Uh, that's, as more details of this fund are released, um, I think that there's a lot of programs already in place, and there are people that would argue that a lot of that money stays. Uh, the fact is, is Toronto is the large epicenter of music in Ontario, so naturally a lot of the money is going to stay in Toronto. Uh, that's where a lot of the bands are. But, uh, you know, I think that... I think that the amount of money that the government is proposing should allow it to reach outside of the GTA. How much stock are you putting in this fund? Like, is this something you're going to actually pay attention to? Definitely. I think, uh, I think I'm going to be learning as much as I can about it so that when I work with bands, I can actually say to them, you know, have you considered applying for the Ontario Music Fund? And I want to be able to understand all the steps so that I can make it easy. Because I'll tell you, I, I can't imagine a 17 or 18 year old um, navigating through all of the different things that they have to to even start a music career, let alone understanding how to apply for a grant. Right. So. Um, and I guess uh, the final question, do you think the Liberals will actually deliver on this fund? Ooh, that's a, now we're getting into politics, which isn't exactly my strong point, but I think the fact that 
the, the details are so vague, I'm still kind of sitting back and just, you know, reserving judgment until I see some details. Once we see some details, I think there's a better chance that we will see something come into fruition, but I do, I am hopeful that we're in a time, we're in a time where it makes sense to spend some money on the music industry, and it is within their best interest to do that, so I'm certainly hoping it happens. All right. Well, thanks for joining me, Ben. And thank you all for watching again. I'll be back next week with another look beyond the headlines.